Hey guys, what's going on? It's Omar here. Um, got another gameplay commentary of Diablo 3. Uh, just playing it solo this time without Peter. Um, I'm currently a level 8 Demon Hunter. I started again because uh, I haven't got a solo account. And um, the reason why I have so much money is that... Because... Uh, Pardon me. As I said in the last video, money carries over. And just let me show you something, right? If we come back up onto this crit level four, look, I have explored every damn area in this game, in this place. This was the last place I explored. It took me like 20 minutes to get through this one floor. God damn it! I hate Blizzard sometimes. Um, but yeah, if, I'll show you my setup now. I guess um, like uh, my gear and things. So this is the gear that I'm running with. Most of it's found, but this crossbow and this I don't know where you got this. Um this I don't know where I got it, I just found it in my stash. I was like, okay, screw that. And this I bought off the auction house. So Um yeah. That's just a cutscene, you don't need to know anything about that. But uh, this is the guy we're going to be fighting soon. Um, this is the one part of this act that I don't like. It's really annoying. There is just endless waves of shit. But uh, the good thing about Demon Hunter is... Um, you have a chance of getting the arrow to fire back. So, like, if I fired an arrow, it can, uh, like, come back the way it was fired to come back at me. Um, therefore, killing anything in its path. Or it can also, like, I don't know what it does. It just, like, instantly locks onto an enemy and you kill it. And that's that. Shut up, Templar. The only reason I have the Templar here with me is because he can heal me. And pff, might as well have... Might as well have him here just to die and for some extra damage, I guess. But this is normal mode. Um, we haven't done much into nightmare mode. We, me and Peter, we've gone to um, Act Two, so we've just finished uh, the Butcher, which I'll do a video on when I get there on this Demon Hunter. It should be about level fourteen when I get there. Um, if you're playing solo, you should be about level eight, nine ish. As you can see, I'm I am level eight, but like on the border of level 9 uh, might as well explore this area um, uh, as that is the last uh, bit until we fight the skeleton king um, it should be bordering on 9 um, and that's really about that I guess um, you, if you're playing with a group it's maybe just the start of 8 maybe uh, like really close to level 8 uh, so level 7 but um, you should be around level 8, I think I was level 8 with Peter, but we were about there on the XP bar, if you could see my cursor. And um, this is what I'm currently working with, Rapid Fire, because uh, I like Rapid Fire, I prefer it to Impale. Um, hung hungering Arrow, because it has a rune on it, an entangling shot, it's just useless in this fight. And Smoke Screen, so you can you know disappear from sight and, I guess, like not take any... I it was that you didn't used to be able to take any damage, and I think I just hit something. No, there should be like a sat. No, no mind. I remember there being a satchel or a s um. Oh, for fuck's sake! Um, I remember say uh, I remember there being a, a like a lectern down there. I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, I might as well leave here. Fuck this cutscene. Useless, useless cutscene. Yeah, okay, right. If you don't shut up now, I'm gonna. I will shoot you. And this is why the Demon Hunter is super overpowered because smoke screen, they just turn away from you and you can also dodge it. Dodge attacks. You can just smoke screen again. There you go. That was easy enough. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, screw this. Give me that. Right, the rest of this shit is staying here. Apart from you, no. And we'll just, ah, oh, just pick up whatever. Right, there we go. Uh, that should be enough space for the skeleton king's drops. Um, 
might as well destroy the ashes. Um, not like I need the gold, but I mean, the bonus XP might be able to level up. You never know. Um, from this like destruction stuff, and you never know. I mean, you might get stuff from it. And uh, no, I won't level up because I still have a thousand XP to go. So let's place the crown on top of the mad skeleton king's head. Um, Demon Hunter is rapidly becoming my favorite class. Uh, because of how overpowered it is. I was watching a player called Athene. He's like the best demon hunter in the world um, at the minute. Uh, he's doing like 180,000 damage. So basically, to put it to scale, this guy has 2,000 health. Uh, I could, in one shot, he'd beat this guy 90 times over. Yeah, quite scary. You want to stay out of his way because uh, this... Uh, when he does that, he's um, he's gonna run and summon stuff. Uh, you wanna maybe it's like it's your choice. You can kill it for the health orb globe things, um, but it's not necessary. You can keep him alive if you're a good um, like if you can dodge the boss well. And I just wasted a. Um, <coughs> This is why I love um, rapid fire. You just do like mad damage to him. So if we just do this for now, we'll just run through this. Um, but this fight is pretty easy solo. Um, the only problem that you probably uh, have is if you were a like a, a barbarian, you'd have problems because um, at the minute, like when you're fighting this guy, you wouldn't have unlocked anything to. Um, you wouldn't have unlocked anything to heal yourself via attacking, so that would be the uh, one issue with rolling a barbarian at this point. But um, they do become really good later on, and game level nine and a few yellows. Um, oh, a short bow, a yellow short bow. Ah, right. oh, back full for that yellow short bow. Take it. Ah, right, might as well take all this stuff. Um, all right, so we got vault. Might as well put that there. Vaults just um, makes me run quicker. I don't care about that to be honest. I prefer the other ones. And let's um, let's identify this stuff. Rare gloves, four vitality, five percent better chance of finding magical items. Better than that. And this rare bow, it's probably going to be shocking compared to mine. Yeah. Also, mine is insane for its level, like the level requirement, which is level seven, <laughs> which is ridiculous. Because look. The stats on this thing mean it's like you do so much damage, it is unreal. Anyway, um, this is what Vault does you just do like a little spinny thing. Uh, you press um, escape to skip through like talking if you want to, and that's really all there is to this. Um, you're gonna get a cutscene. I always click escape on cutscenes because I've seen them all because I've completed them, uh, completed the game. Um, this part you'll just have to recover his sword and do I have any need for anything here? Nope. And there's no point in me salvaging it because if you want me to show you what I've got in my stash, just give me a quick second. This is the stuff that I have in my stash. Uh, some of it is for my other demon hunter. Some of it is um, like this. This I got for uh, from a drop. No level requirement. It was absolutely insane. These are the things that you can get for like um, demon hunters. Um, these are the things for nightmare mode. Um, they're like the crafting materials. I have a hundred and thirteen essence, shim uh, subtle essence, so I don't really need to craft anything. Um, but other than that, this video is coming to a close, I guess, guys. Um, I guess I'd like to thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Cheers. Um, I want to buy that tab really badly. So, um, remember to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. And uh, I enjoy putting them out for you. So, uh, later, guys.